Prince Andrew, we are told, Bill Clinton and Richard Branson uh, were filmed secretly uh, by Jeffrey Epstein in sex tapes, according to the latest tranche of Epstein files that have been uh, released. Um, this was a claim that was made uh, by one of the former victims who has herself received compensation, mm -hmm. uh, being trafficked uh, and uh, by uh, uh, Epstein and uh, Ghislaine Maxwell from, uh, as a student from the early, early 20s. Um, but um, it, she apparently later withdrew these claims, saying she just wants to walk away from it all. Um, so there's a question mark on the credibility of these claims. Um, but we, you know, obviously everyone involved has denied that, that they had sex with anyone who involved with Jeffrey Epstein. I must make that clear for legal reasons. However, we do know that these people had contact with Jeffrey Epstein. Well, certainly we know Prince Andrew did and Bill Clinton did. Uh, we also know that he had cameras in all of the rooms of all of his homes. Mm -hmm. the, the police found that. That's well documented. Why did he have those cameras other than to film people? Mm -hmm even for some weird sadistic pleasure or to, as many people have suggested, to be able to extract some sort of leverage on the various famous and um, well-noted people that he had coming through his doors. I mean, as you said, we've always got to kind of strike a balance here because there's always going to be a feeding frenzy around stories yeah. like this, allegations which have been made, withdrawn. In some cases during the legal proceedings, people pointed to these cases and suggested these are so outlandish it's actually discrediting of this particular yeah. witness. That's one claim that has been made. Of course, she would push back on that, I'm sure. Um, but at the same time, I think this is we're just going to have weeks of this now. That's just the nature of it, because you've got all of these famous faces, all of which who, whilst they strongly deny any criminality and so on, are the sort of people who one could imagine engaging in certain sorts of activities. And so it's, go, it's just going to run and run and run, unfortunately. And the kind of truth mm. and, the, and the falseness of the yeah. matter is going to go by the way. Yeah, somewhere. absolutely. Well, here's a top tip. Don't be friends with the Peter, well, convicted paedophile billionaire. It Pro works tip. for most of us. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I um, must also talk... I mean, lots of people talk about, you know, who flew on his plane, who didn't. Mm -hmm. I'm always fascinated by the fact that all these rich people feel the need to, to uh, piggyback and hitchhike on uh, mm. the billionaire's plane. You could afford your own plane tickets. You're already a millionaire. Um, but um, good concern for the rest of us getting no ordinary planes. Mm. Um, these Boeing uh, planes, the safety fears after uh, American Airlines found that um, obviously American Airlines found that an awful lot of their planes have got these loose door um, fittings where basically on these planes, the plane that we saw which had a, a, a window and a section fall out, it's a door on some of the versions of the planes and, and it's obviously not fitted properly. But the whole, basically, the whole set of these air, these particular mm -hmm. Boeing aircrafts have been grounded. There have got to be some serious issues. Normally you think of air safety as actually, you know, one of the best in the world, but big question marks here. Oh, huge question marks. I mean, it's, this isn't something that they can brush off as one viral video of that Alaska Airlines flight, given what we're now seeing. And one, at this point in time, imagines that this is going to be the most tightly regulated, yep. the most um, clearly overseen sort of area because the fact, you know, thousands of lives are at stake in any given sort of hour when you're talking about um, air travel. And yet the fact that these things are just able to take hold, the fact that these oversights are made, the fact that mm. Boeing in one form or another seems to have been almost marking its own homework on the yep. particular issue. America, American outrageous. Airlines safety has definitely taken a, a dive. I think it was in the Trump years mm. where basically, yeah, they were allowed to yeah, take over their own. So yes, we, we've assessed that our planes are safe. That's not how it works. <laughs> That's not how it works.